Oh, hey people, our uh, firearm apprentice here. Had a pretty decent day today, programmed up, uh, what was it? Oh, what do we call this? Firelight. Firelight 9600, I believe it was. 636 points. Addressable. Uh, two enunciators plus um, uh, LCD enunciator. Yeah, it's a good little panel. Had a lot of fun with it. I've got a clip to show you. Uh, I'll fire alarm apprentice. And, uh, so stay tuned. And by the way, as I said before, uh, you know, there's a lot of... Uh, there's lots of material on YouTube, so thanks for uh, sharing. Thanks for joining us. Uh, Firelight 9600. Beautiful panel. Absolutely gorgeous panel. Um, the struggle that you're going to have with it, like me, um, it will not accept downloads or any type of programming if there is alarm active or supervisory active. Trouble, I'm not too sure of. I'm pretty sure it'll work for trouble, but I can't be 100% certain of that. Uh, the program that we're using is PS Tools, a Windows 10 computer. And uh, the, one of the biggest struggles you're going to have is the communication. Okay. Um, the next version of panels, they've eliminated that by using strictly USB um, memory sticks. But uh, for these ones, there's a mil millions of them out there. Windows 10 always gives you a different COM port every time you reboot on a USB. That's been my experience. So you're going to have to go in the menu and select, find out which COM port it is, COM, go through your device manager, find out which COM port it is, and when you go into here, your communication settings have to be set up for serial and then the COM port. I don't think you have to worry about the baud rate. It, it takes care of all that stuff. But that's been my experience, and I've programmed a few hundred of these. Um, the other thing is, at this end, you have to hook up transmit, receive, and ground. Okay, and that's the terminals that they go in. They're very well labeled. But... Um, Serial communications terminology is that transmit and receive are reversed at the other end. So anybody that, like me, I came from the 70s and 80s, uh, we used, and the 90s too, we used serial all the time. And transmit and receive are reversed at the other end. And we could get into, a, it's called null. And uh, we could get in, even Ethernet follows that same um, mentality when you go from peer to peer, but that's beyond this discussion. So, after you've programmed your panel, um, you, I don't think you'll have any trouble programming it. Um, PS Tools gives you a, a menu. It's all menu driven, of course. You select your job site, you select your modules, your detectors, all your addressing, um, any, any of the in other, in other words, it's pretty self-explanatory. But then when you get to the communication page, the download page, upload download it's called, then you're going to um, you're going to do what's called download a panel, and it's going to work. Well, first of all, you have to connect. And we're already connected. I did that before I, uh, I started up the Kodak. So I forgot. Almost forgot. At this end of the panel, we have to... Um, we have to go into remote download and then you have to put in your password and then to accept download and then you come back you your time and date and according to our status it's all good oh time, what timed out uh, Okay, so I have to connect again. Disconnect. Connect. Date and time. Download the panel. It worked that time. Okay, and uh, now I'm going to disconnect from the panel. And I'm going to clean up and one of our policies is that we always leave the panel cleaner than we found it. 
so all that drywall dust, construction, dirt, all that, that's going to be cleaned off of every, from everything. If you have any questions about programming uh, 9600s, uh, leave a comment and I'll be sure to get back to you. But you, you shouldn't have too many problems. Like I said, it's, it really is a beautiful panel to work on. Uh, we appreciate you stopping by our channel. Uh, we know that there's uh, no shortage of cat videos, uh, Bob Seger videos, and uh, The Who, etc. So, yeah, we do appreciate you stopping by our channel. Um, for fire alarms in Canada, uh, you have to have zones, and that's right in the National Building Code. And also, you have to display zones. So, you have to display zones with an LED and a label. Even if it's addressable, even if you have an LCD screen, you still have to have that. That's a requirement. I know a lot of buildings miss it. I don't know how they get away with it. But a lot of uh, electrical contractors have forgotten about them or just didn't know. And it got by. And it got These are kind of tricky to program. They really are. Um, for the red zones, they're not too bad. Like for the fire alarm zones, they're not too bad. Uh, but for the supervisories and the way our... Um, National Building Code reads is that a supervisory has to latch, it has to be a shoring device, and it has to be amber. It's really hard to explain it with a, with a film, but uh, if you leave a comment, I'll be sure to try and address it.